County Detention Center. Your account balance is $33.83. To hear the charges for this call, press 2. To accept this call, press 5. To refuse this call, this call will be recorded and subject to monitoring at any time. Thank you for using IC Solutions. You may begin speaking now. Hello. Hey, Henry. Uh, you, you, so you guys were telling me about WikiLeaks and uh, a lot of information that's been uh, coming out. Uh, what would you say is the best, the best information leaked uh, so far since well. I've been in here? Oh boy, oh boy. Well, of course there's a ton of stuff on Hillary, which I don't really care too much about. You know, the whole Hillary and Trump thing is just a circus. And um, all kinds of terrible things about Hillary. Um, Col uh, Colin Powell has um, told the... they intercepted his emails. They've intercepted all kinds of emails. She emailed uh, from an unsecure server, Obama, and his office should have uh, flagged it for an uh, unsecure server, and, she sh and he's culpable, too, for all this uh, leaked email. And um, he said, Colin said that uh, he was at um, the Bilderbergs, and they don't want Trump in, in office. That was one of them. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. It's, whether Trump wins or not, if he wins, I'm sure he has the same puppet master as uh, yeah. Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Uh, like, like, like you said, it's an, an illusion of freedom. Yeah. Uh, Joseph Stalin said that those who cast the votes decide nothing. Those who count the votes decide everything. And then you have the state of California that sued the manufacturers of the electronic voting machine yeah. for rigging for rigging the software to produce a 60-40 outcome, and he won over three million, if I'm correct, in the uh, in the lawsuit. Yeah, uh, it's for, not it's not who we vote for; it's who counts the votes. Exactly. Yeah, we and know. As long as we think we have freedom, we'll be willing slaves. That's right. That blows my mind that uh, there's people out there like you guys that are willing to go the extra mile and do all that. Do you so have a, a blessing. Do you have a specific hotel that would be close that you would recommend? I, I do not. I, do. I, I almost, I, I've been in Vegas for a long time and I never ever come downtown or go to the strip or nothing like that. So I, and, and I almost never go to hotels or motels, so I, I would not be able to tell, okay. tell you. Okay, all right. Well, I'll check it out. Um, sorry about that. No problem. No, we can, we can, uh, we can look up. Uh, I'm good at that. Yeah, we'll find something around the Clark County Detention Center. Um, all right. Um, yeah, I'm uh, yeah. awkward moment in silence. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's so many things to talk about. I'm trying to think of current uh, news. I don't know. There's just it's mayhem out here. I have to tell you, it's absolute mayhem. And um, it is looking good, you know, because of these whistleblowers. And, and uh, I would request that you pray for more whistleblowers to become more courageous and stand up and be bold. No, I, you, yeah, I'll I, do that. You, you were telling me something about a general that came out and yeah, two, information? Or? Two generals and one admiral came out today and, and they were on the radio show and they were talking about how all the uh, military has been purged. I mean, it's stuff you probably already know, but it's good to have them on the record. Really, oh, okay. you know, really boldly. Yeah, if, in, in other words, if you stand up for the Constitution or freedom or the American people and you don't align with tyranny, they're going to purge you out of the military. So that's nothing we didn't already know, but it's just interesting to hear, like, uh, these retired generals and retired commanders saying the same thing. Hey, let me ask you this while, I was, uh, while it's on my mind, uh, Bryce. Your channel, right, Fisher of Men, obviously was an is an incredibly popular channel. What do you think out of all the videos that you uploaded? Because I, you know, I don't even know all the ones. I know you did so many. But I, you know, I, do you think there was one in particular that really upset maybe Obama or somebody in the counterterrorism unit? Or do, do you have an idea of like that was the one that really, really upset them? Or was there a collection of several of them probably more than just one? And, and why do well, you I've, had, I've had many problems with uh, signing on to my account and just videos being taken down out of nowhere. Wow. Uh, usually when they take a video down, they tell you why they took it down. They notify you that they took it down and then they give you a strike. Well, I've had times where I've logged on to my YouTube channel and the, the, my uh, recent uploads would be just gone. 
Which is wow. And then all 500 videos would be sent to, to private. So people can't view it. So I had to, to go and reset it back to public. Wow. And, and, and then re-upload all 20 videos that they took down at a time. That happened twice. Holy um, smokes. But, I mean, if there, were, if there were to be a particular video that would upset the administration, it would probably be the, the hour-long video, the 45-minute video about the... Uh, the news media reporting false flag attacks. Amen. Yeah, I did see that one. That was a good one, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you... <laughs> that has uh, 200,000 views, right? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the one about Michelle is a man, which I that wouldn't... Was, I was going to say that next. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's true. <laughs> that's good. I, I got a message from somebody that, that claimed to be Obama on YouTube telling, saying, you better stop talking about me, man. Uh -huh. that's all he, yeah, that's all he said. <laughs> Whether or not that was him, who knows? Who you knows? Know. I kind of doubt it, but at the same time, I don't. I mean, you, you never know. Hey, I just want to tell you where Rudy and I met. I don't know if you know this or not, but we met in Harlem at Pastor Manning's church in a grand jury box convicting Obama of sedition. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, do How you, long ago was that? Do you know Pastor Manning, James David Manning? The black, I, I do not. He's the black guy who's um, probably the most outspoken pastor in uh, America about sodomites. About homosexuality? Yep. Yeah. Um, and you said uh, about Obama's sedition? Yeah, we were, uh, it was a sedition trial about uh, Obama and not and his birth certificate and not being eligible for president and we did that in 2010 that's where we met oh wow huh. yeah what was that college that he claimed he went to oh he said he went to Columbia University but he never went there yeah he never went to Columbia University that's a big lie too and the, the, the lady that forged his birth certificate died in a, uh, what, a plane a plane crash over the ocean or something like that yeah, yeah it's all and, a and bunch of lies I mean, I heard Obama, Obama's grandma was trying to say uh, that he was not an American citizen. That he's from Africa, and she dies three days before the election. Exactly. Yeah. If you go to Niger uh, Nigeria, Africa, there's a photo of it. It says, Welcome to Nigeria, Africa, birthplace of Barack Obama. Yeah. yeah. There's overwhelming I mean, evidence that he was not born in Hawaii. Who's that guy named Breitbart? Yes. He, uh, yep, he, he was killed. He had information that supposedly was going to bring down his entire campaign, and he found him dead. Yeah, and he was talking to Sheriff Arpaio, you know, at like an hour, a couple hours before he was killed. Yes, uh, I heard that they shot him with the ice bullet. Probably. Yeah. Because uh, uh, he died the same way uh, Judge Scalia died. All they found was a hole, but yeah. no bullet. Not only that, but Michael Co <laughs> Michael Comier, uh, which is the coroner for Breitbart, He's he get he got murdered. Oh yeah, he got murdered too. Yeah. Right. And he's, and he's like, hey, if something's going on here. This guy's you know this is not a natural death. Right. And then uh, yeah. not only that, but uh, Breitbart found where Obama himself was um, uh, advertising to Harvard University that he was born in Kenya, and he published a document that Obama. It was like a book rep, uh, a book resume. I forget the exact word for it, but there's a fancy word for it. But this was a document that Obama himself was publishing when he was at Harvard, and it claims he was born in Kenya. And um, it, th not only that, but you may remember there was a passport break-in in 2008. And uh, at the time, John Brennan uh, helped Obama deal with that passport break-in. And it was basically there was a witness within the, pass uh, within the uh, records department, and his name was Lieutenant Quarles Harris Jr., and they found him shot in the head outside his church. And then Obama... Uh, promotes John Brennan, who One helped him with the, who helped him with the passport records. Obama pr pr promotes John Brennan to head of the CIA, and then of course they killed Osama bin Laden, and all of SEAL Team Six was died in a helicopter crash because I don't believe they killed Osama. Yeah, I made a video about that. How uh, SEAL Team Six uh, died two weeks later. Yeah. After, you know, uh, allegedly they had gotten Osama. But they'll show Saddam Hussein, uh, Saddam Hussein being hung on TV, but they won't show a picture of Osama bin Laden. Right. Yeah, more Insane. lies. Well, God bless yeah, you, brother. We're, we're, we're glad you called. and uh, Keep calling so we know you're not in the hole. <laughs> yeah, I will. I'll call you guys tomorrow. Okay. okay, good. God bless you. God bless you, too. Thank you guys a lot for everything you've done. Love you guys. You're welcome. Bye. -bye. Bye. Have a nice night. All, All right. right.
Okay, should we do that on Clark County Detention Center? Your account balance is $33.83. To hear the charges for this call, press 2. To accept this call, press 5. To refuse this call, this call will be recorded and subject to monitoring at any time. Thank you for using... Pal has um, told the... They intercepted his emails. They've intercepted all kinds of emails. She emailed uh, from an unsecure server, Obama, and his office should have uh, flagged it for an uh, unsecure server, and she... Sh and he I see solutions. You may begin speaking now. Hello. Hey, uh, you, you, so you guys were telling me about WikiLeaks and uh, a lot of information that's been uh, coming out. Uh, what would you say is the best, the best information leaked uh, so far? Since well, I've been in he's culpable too for all this uh, leaked email, and um, he said Colin said that uh, he was at. Um, the Bilderbergs, and they don't want Trump in, in office. That was one of them. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, of course, there's a ton of stuff on Hillary, which I don't really care too much about. You know, the whole Hillary and Trump thing is just a circus. And um, all kinds of terrible things about Hillary. Um, uh, Colin.